Streaming live, episode 240 of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Pleasure to see you all today. And I hope you can hear me because I just got a sound malfunction notice about my microphone. So if you can hear me, please say something in the chat. Of course, I always know when something is wrong because you always say, can't hear you. It's quiet. You're muted. Uh, which I actually appreciate, because then you let me know that I need to fix things. But anyway, it is uh, it is that time, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7 o'clock on the dot. Time for episode 240 of Scotch and Smoke Rings. These weeks keep adding up, don't they? Can you believe that we're almost at 250 weeks? 10 weeks to go, and we're at 250 weeks. Um, nice classy look, Ox, says Uber Raffle Mao. Uh, good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I finally had my wardrobe come in. That's right. I have been working really hard on finding some decent work shirts that actually fit me. And Shwarma is talking to me in Hebrew. All right. I read. I understand everything you're saying, Shwarma. And I'll respond to you shortly in my mind. Uh, but that said, I got some, sh some shirts tailored. Um... To my measurements, these are normally a 35 arm, but I'm a short guy, so I got a 32 arm, and I didn't have to get these hemmed, and a nice 20 collar, and yeah, I'm feeling pretty snazzy. This this tie was from my father-in-law, gave it to me, and I like it a whole lot. Got this new tie clip for free, by the way. That's what happens when you haggle with the guys at the men's warehouse. They, uh, they cave, and they give you things for free. Anyway, um... Uh, grandly says, good work shirt you got there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, well, this is great. I'm glad I showed up for the show today. I'm getting compliments on my on my wardrobe. Uh, can't go wrong with that. That said, we actually we actually do have a fantastic show for you today. Um, I've got a great box-pressed cigar. We've got some wonderful crack and rum. Lots of fan art to get through. But first... That's right, I've got things on my hands. Why do I have things on my hands? And what is the purpose of these things on my hands? Do they give me magical powers? Do they improve my boxing abilities? Do they allow me to shoot thunderbolts from my fingertips? No, they do none of those things. They keep my hands from doing that. Like, I can't go any further than that. That's about the most that I can move my wrists. And that's because I was diagnosed with carpal tunnel the other day. That's right, carpal tunnel. I didn't think much of it either until I found out that I had it. Now the way this works is if you do something like I do and you sit at your computer for the for pretty much 32 years of your life and you type and you type and you type and you write two books and then you work as a blogger and then you work as a video game writer and then you work as a film editor and you're constantly typing and typing and typing. Your hands are constantly in this bent over position, which apparently pinches what is called your median nerve. Thankfully, the doctor says that I came in complaining about my numb fingertips just in time and that there is no permanent damage. So all I have to do is for 10 days, I have to wear these things. That's it, and I'm cured. So here I am wearing these things and it makes me type like this. When I'm at work, it's ridiculous because people will walk by and just look at me and I'm sitting there going, clack, 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 clack. This is me working. I'm writing a novel. Clack, 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 clack. I have to admit, it is fairly annoying. 24 hours a day for the first 10 days. Yeah. Kayla Jitgo says, hey, I made it today. Pleasure to have you here. Tank Dog Guy says, my good sir, how are you doing tonight? I am doing well. Thank you. Doom Doggy says, all I do about my numb fingers is wave them around and the feeling comes back. Yeah, um, I did the same thing. It started with one finger, and then it progressed to two fingers. And then, like, three fingers were, get, were a little numb. Then I started to get pain in my wrist. And then it stopped going away when I would stretch my fingers out and wave them around. It just was always kind of tingly and numb. And that's when I finally said, you know what? Probably a good idea if I had someone look at this. And here I am. I feel like a T-Rex. <sighs> Alright. 
We've got cigars, we've got scotch, and that's the, that's one of the nice things about whatever medical condition this happens to be, is it doesn't interfere with my show, or my scotch, or my cigars, or my movie making, or my beards, or anything. It, it's really a non-issue, it's just a slight inconvenience for a short period of time. Shwarma says, ha ha, welcome to old age, age Oxhorn, you're catching up with me. <laughs> I, right, I feel it, like... All my all my days, I had old people complaining about arthritis and uh, carpal tunnel, and I'm sitting there like, <laughs> you pontoons, clack, 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 clack. And here I am at the ripe old age of 32, and what have I got? I got T-Rex arms. All right. This, I, I smoked one of these last night while I was working, and I really, really, really enjoy it. Greg McLovin Hartung says, did you literally ask the doctor if you could hold a cigar? Yes, I went in and I sat down and I said, doctor, I realize that I have carpal tunnel, but here is a list of all of the things that I tend to handle with my hands throughout my week, and I want you to give me a green check mark on each one. Number one, the toilet knob. Number two, cigars. Number three, my breakfast burritos. And he went through the entire menu of items that I tend to handle upon, upon each day and gave me a nice check mark. That's the reality of, of my life. Greg McLovin Hartung says the beard is accelerating your age progression. Thanks. You and I, we're buds. That's right. Such a good guy. Gentleman Badger, on the other hand, says the beard has no negative side effects. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate that one, at least. Shoot of Ellswear says, Oxhorn, how has your week been besides that? My week has been great. I, uh, like I said, I've been wearing my new uniform to work. I, I'm calling this my own personal brand of uniform. And, uh, and, and I'm enjoying it, and uh, my wife has had a great couple of days. She went to a friend's house, and the babies played together. So, yeah, we've been having a good week. Uh, anyway, so I was saying that I smoked this cigar last week. It's, or yesterday. It's called a Bohemian. Uh... And I have to admit, upon looking at the wrapper, I wasn't impressed. Greg McLovin Hartung says, sorry, that was in bad taste. No, it was not in bad taste. Don't worry about it. I'm giving you a hard time. If you give me a hard time, I reserve the right to give you a hard time too. That's just the give and take, right? That's what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? So this is the wrapper. It kind of looks unprofessional. I know you can't. Here, maybe I can do something so that you can focus on it. All right, so there's that. There, look at that. So that's the wrapper. As you can see, it's kind of got this hand-drawn look to it. Um, it says handmade, you know. It's kind of overwhelming, a lot of gold. And, I, you know, I wasn't terribly thrilled with it. I didn't quite trust it. But I tried it last night, and boy, were my instincts wrong. It was a delicious cigar, burned wonderfully, right from the tip all the way to the to the end um, and it's box pressed and you know how much I like box pressed cigars uh, so I have high hopes for this particular stick today and I hope you do too Abysmal Monkey says, is this actually what you wear, or are you wearing this for the stream? I literally walked in the door, put on a hat, and sat down. This is, this is what I wear. But it's not weird. I mean, the suspenders are completely practical. They hold up pants. Right? People wear belts. Some people do. I prefer not to have something squeezing my intestines. So instead, I wear suspenders. This is a, it's a normal white shirt, you know, it's got a nice little window pane check pattern on it, and I'm not wearing crazy cufflinks, and a tie. Yes, I am wearing a tie. Splegak says, Evening Ox, hope you're doing well. I am doing very well. Uh, good to see so many people in the Twitch chat today. Always a pleasure to have a convergence of the chats. <laughs> Shiot of Ellswear says, they hold up pants. A job well done. Indeed. 
They do their designed function. That is a marvel of human ingenuity, I have to, I have to admit. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is Kraken rum. I normally drink scotch in the program, as many of you know, but today I felt compelled to work on this bottle because I've had it since Christmas, and it's going down very slowly, and it takes up space, and so I owe it to the universe to free up space and drink rum. That is how I'm <clears throat> um, convincing myself that this is an important service to humanity that I am performing. <laughs> Osmation says, is this dude playing Hearthstone? Yes. I will be getting to Hearthstone, but as with many, you know, fine sports or, or epic, you know, adventures like climbing Mount Everest, you got to gear up psychologically, right? You got to get yourself in the mode. And I know that I'm about to sit down and play a casual card game called Hearthstone, but before I do, I have to make sure that I'm walking through flames in my mind, right? And tight rope walking over giant chasms in my mind so that I can sort of psych myself up in preparation. And part of this, uh, this pre-epic Hearthstone battle ritual is, of course, lighting up a gentleman, eh? And uh, pouring, pouring an imbibable. So cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Bottoms up. King White Knight says, Well, my, my, it appears as though I've met my twin. How are you, my fellow scholar and gentleman, I do declare. Indeed, sir. Uh, well, uh, it's funny because people often... Okay, so when, when new people meet me, they'll say one of a number of things. Are you Amish? No. Are you Jewish? No. Are you Jack Black? No, I am not Jack Black. Are you Zach Galifianakis? No, I am not Zach Galifianakis. Have you ever been on Duck Dynasty? No, I have never been on Duck Dynasty. And then, of course, the geek crowd will say, Are you, um, uh, not Notched? Is that his name? The guy who made, um, Minecraft. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Anyway, apparently I have a striking resemblance to that fine fellow as well. But no, I am not him. I am Oxhorn. I have created World of Warcraft machinima movies. And now I am, uh, all about beards and cigars and scotch. It's the natural progression, what can I say? So for those who think that I'm Amish, <clears throat> here's a trick to know the difference between an Amish person and a non-Amish person. Amish people do not have mustaches. Right, now open up a new tab and go to the Google machine and type in Amish and then go into the images of Google search and you will see lots of photos of Amish people and not a one will wear a mustache. Therefore, I cannot be Amish. You just learned something today and you're a better person because of it. <laughs> Osmation says, this is the guy. This is the guy that I am going to dedicate this next hour to. <laughs> well, you, sir, have made a wise decision. Let me not make your time be wasted. Let's get through the fan art. Um, as, as is typical here on Scotch and Smoke Rings, the mighty fans rally together and create wonderful masterpieces of fan art that I have the honor of showing to the world every week. And so let me show you what I've got now. Uh, there we go, okay. All right, so for those of you who don't know, we have a public Facebook group called Scotch and Smoke Rings. It's at facebook.com slash groups slash Oxhorn. And that's where everybody goes to submit their fan art and, and have a good time. This was submitted by Eric, and it's a piece of Star Trek fan art. And here is, uh, here is Eric's character down here, and the subtitle for this frame says, Loaxana Troy, the woman that makes Starfleet officers uncomfortable. They didn't even need to use a can of Axe to attract her. They do both rather look uncomfortable, don't they? Slightly, slightly awkward. I have to admit, 
Just looking at this is making me feel uncomfortable too. So nice catch there, Eric. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. This is from Nolan and it says, in beta tomorrow, what will Oxhorn be? I don't know. Well, let me, oh, are you talking about, uh, are you talking about the World of Warcraft beta? Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I will be either. Then there's this from Greg Hartung and he says, a belated gift to our scotch and smoke rings regular with Christina, John, and Nathaniel. Happy birthday, Goolbreath. And Goolbreath says, aw, thanks, Greg. Uh, it was apparently Goolbreath's birthday recently. He missed last week's episode. Shame on you, Greg. Or, sh or shame on you, uh, Goolbreath. But apparently he's back, so it's good to, ha good to have you back, Goolbreath. Uh, then there's this by Pat, and it's pretty epic. Let me read these for you. The second one is about an admin on Facebook named Carl Ludwig Sheborn, a.k.a. Controversial Humor Cell, and I have been DD. I don't know what that one is. It says, but Friday night, Boone police received a report of suspicious behavior in the 300 block of Marshall Street. Turned out to be four males with flashlights comparing facial hair growth. <laughs> That's, that is because, of course, four men with flashlights in a room to themselves are just, they're going to be comparing facial hair growth. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Beards are like tequila. They'll make your clothes fall off. Oh, my goodness. That's a little racy for this program, uh, but also true. Let's move on to the next one. He who sacrifices his beard for a woman deserves neither. Truer words were never spoken, my friend. And then finally from Pat, it says, My answers to annoying beard questions. One, you like that show Duck Dynasty? No, never heard of it. Two, isn't that beard annoying in the summer? No, manliness is not seasonal. Three, when are you going to shave? I don't understand your question. And four, what's the most annoying thing about having a beard? The questions. Nicely done, Pat. Thank you for those. Then there's this from Christina. Or Krista? Christina. And uh, bacon beard, possibly the only acceptable alternative to a real beard. Okay, yeah, I think I'll go with that. Uh, grow a beard if you can, but if you can't, hey, there's always that. Then there's this uh, from uh, Autumn, and she's talking about this this article that was on money.msn.com where people are paying big bucks for beard transplants. I'm not gonna read the article or share it with you right now, but it's a fascinating read. Uh, I have a similar article up on growabeardnow.com. Then there's this from Evan, and it says, Bacon Bomb. A bacon weave wrapped around a mixture of sausage, cream cheese, jalapenos, and cheddar cheese. I think I could have that for breakfast every morning. And since I love breakfast for every meal, that of course means having that for every meal as well. Then there's this, Grease Splatter. You mean bacon kisses? <laughs> Bacon kisses hurt. They do. This one's from Nolan, and it says, uh, uh, how to get rid of elves or hippie-infested vermin. Elves are back. Look out, he's got a broom. You no, know, I love Futurama. I'm guessing this is like Doctor Who or something. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time placing the reference. But thank you, Nolan. Thank you. Here's another one from Nolan. It doesn't matter if you pay, play a glad game as long as you look classy. Glad, glad game. Again, I don't quite understand the, the reference, but I do I do love Uncle Sai, so uh, thank you again for that. Here's one from Dolan. Why do you smoke if you're a robot? They make me a classier robot. Naturally. Of course, his real line from the, from the show is because they make me look cool, but we don't do anything simply because it makes us look cool. No, we have intent and purpose behind all of our actions, and it makes us classier. <clears throat> then there's this from Ryu, and he says, I summoned the motorcycle with my mustache, and, uh, oh wow, it's a huge long comic. Uh, this is a lot. Sir, I have come to ask permission to marry your lovely daughter. Hmm, marriage, you say? What line of work are you in, my boy? I'm an artist? Oh no! A bachelor of the fine arts scoff. No good for nothing artist is worthy of my daughter, but daddy, daddy, be reasonable. Mumble, grumble, okay, okay, I will allow it. But he must first prove that he is man enough. You must perform a really cool drum solo. Anything for my dear sweet Bertha, drum solo. 
Thubba Dubba Crash Thubba Dubba Ah. Totally awesome. Mustache transfers. My dear man, how, my dear man, I would be honored to have you as my son-in-law. Let's split, baby. Uh, where did this motorcycle come from? I summoned it with my mustache. Finally, mustache. That's pretty great. Uh, my courtship went very much like this, just so you know. Uh, thank you for that one, Rai. <laughs> uh, here's one from Nathan. It says, I have a beard. Your argument is invalid. Uh, we appreciate logic here at scotchandsmokerings.com. So kudos for you. Looks like King Crush has some problems of his own, says Nolan. This is, of course, in reference to our Hearthstone battle where Greg is always summoning King Crush to destroy me. Greg, you and King Crush. And here's one from Ryu. Look at this bearded gentleman with a split braided orange beard smoking a cigar and drinking what appears to be scotch. What is this? I love it. Where did you find this? That's pretty amazing. Ryu, you need, to, you need to send me an email telling me where you found that, because I love it. And then this one, uh, I already took a look at that one, so... That's the music we're listening to. Okay, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your submissions uh, this week. For those of you who would like to submit your own fan art to this fine program, just go to facebook.com slash groups slash oxhorn, and you will find our community. It's open to the public. Just uh, uh, submit your application, and I will accept it. Portishead says, Kind sir, let me follow you through your adventures in the dangerous lands of Hearthstone, and ra uh, raise my cigar and chalice with you. Nicely done. A toast to all the fine gentlemen in the room. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting to Hearthstone soon. If you're wanting to add me on Hearthstone, I am on Battle.net, Oxhorn number 1648. I guess I better fire it up so I can figure out what my Battle.net idea is. But it's Oxhorn number 1648, I think. Uh, I'll let you know if that's incorrect. Oh, shoot, says Oxhorn. I didn't mean Warcraft beta. I meant the Elder Scrolls. Scrolls. Online beta. Check your email. That's true. That's true. I did see your beta invitation, and I thank you. I have not had a chance to create a character yet, but I also wonder what I will eventually choose. Uh, Knight White Knight. King White Knight says, What do you do for a living, sir? I do declare, uh, aside from growing a magnificent beard, um, I'm in marketing. That's right, I do. Search engine optimization and marketing. All right, I'm getting I'm getting battle I'm getting battle requests already, but sorry I can't I can't accept. I just logged online to make sure that I had room for other uh, people who want to uh, want me to add them. I still have more of the show to get through, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start, goodness, how do I? Ugh. All right. Battle is, is infuriating. They give you a 100 friend cap. You can't have more than 100 friends. And I filled that up months ago, and now I have to delete those who are unactive before I can add more. Yeah, uh, it's annoying. Ah, dread it all. That's what happens when you get to talking. Your cigar goes out. Let's try again. Radio Disney is now on Facebook. Find us Facebook. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on with the remainder of the program, I, of course, have to pitch my books, my two novels, The Tale of Chloron Hastings and Era One, collection of short fantasy stories and poems and one no novella. And, of course, my swashbuckling young adult sea adventure yarn, The Tale of Chloron Hast Hastings, suitable for all ages, but uh, will be found interesting by even adults. Um, lots of adventure, lots of fun. Let me go ahead and type in the URLs. <laughs> People are saying there's someone out the window behind me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably uh, 
my son. This this room is actually in my house, and that door leads to my living room. So I'm not being stalked by crazies. I mean, I am being stalked by crazies, but not right now. Coron Hastings, my novel, The Tale of Coron Hastings, and then Era One. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. I almost forgot to tell you. Many of you have been asking about OxCon, right? How many of you remember me talking about OxCon? Well, the closest thing to OxCon is happening in April, on April 19th. I am hosting a big beard event here in Seattle. That's right. I'm working on a new book. It's for my website, growabeardnow.com. And uh, I am offering free beard portraits to any bearded gentleman in Seattle. Um, but of course, if any of you would like to go, you are more than welcome. So it's going to be on April 19th at Gasworks Park in downtown Seattle. Feel free to fly, right? Because I'm sure many of you can drop $500 on plane tickets and hotel rooms at any moment. And come and say hi. Just in case uh, you're interested you can go to the Facebook page of Grow a Beard Now. You'll find that at growbeardnow.com, and uh, the invite is there. Uh, Vexus says goodbye, sir. It's rocks. Pleasure to have seen you here, Vexus. I hope no one else is having any video problems like he was. I think everyone else is okay. Greg McLovin Hartung says, how is hippie neighbor, neighbor Tom? <clears throat> well, I, um, I thought I was being really smart. April 19th says ghoul breath. Yes, it is April 19th. I thought I was being really smart in that I decided to try and thwart hippie neighbor Tom by taking the garbage can, filling it with actual garbage, and putting it where the garbage cans are supposed to be. I thought that he was so interested in garbage that he wouldn't touch it, as if garbage were a sacred cow to him since it seems to be all that he talks about. But alas, he empties the garbage somewhere, I don't know where, and then puts the garbage can back in the middle of my driveway. I haven't seen him, he does this all in the dead of night. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I Iconic says, what happened to your hand? Uh, I have typed too much and created too much wonder with these hands in terms of websites and books that now I have carpal tunnel and I've got to wear these until it goes away. Shoot of Ellsweer says, is Tom still underground now he hates you? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Tom, the hippie neighbor, hates me. Something I cannot avoid. <sighs> oh, well, we shall drown our sorrows, uh, remiss over the loss of potential friendships, and have a classy afternoon. Godsung224 says, sweet, I just turned 21. Now I can drink and smoke while watching this. Cheers to you, good sir. Do so responsibly as I know you will do with your classiness. And let me give you a few smoke rings in celebration. <laughs> All right, well, it's Hearthstone time. I'm going to go ahead and log on to the game. And the way it works is I will accept your challenges, but since there are so many of you, it's going to be a sort of first-come, first-serve basis. Uh, basically, whoever challenges me first uh, gets to play me first. That is, of course, unless somebody else challenges me immediately after you do. There's a glitch in Hearthstone right now where if you get challenged twice by different people in a very short period of time that it cancels your challenges and I don't know it it just gets really confusing so all right let's see if I can do this There we go. Hmm. 
Uh, well, this is good, but you can't see me. There we go. Now you can see me. Okay. Shoot. Cancelled. Okay. Oh. Ah, my goodness. All right, you, you're all seeing this happening right now. I can't help this. I can't help what's going on. Stop it! What's all you guys? My goodness. Oh, all right. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta clean up stuff here. Um. My goodness, I'm, I gotta make room for more people. Wow, I'm trying to remove people who haven't logged in in more than a month. So that I can have more, gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, oh, stop it, all you crazies. Here we go, okay. Let me, let me accept these guys. One, two, yes, okay. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if you've... Ah, what is... Jeez. Ah, okay, just somebody quick. Yes, yes. No, okay. Somebody, I don't care. Just send it so that I can click accept. And I can't... Why can't I accept any more friend requests? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes! Okay. Oh. Okay, I think we're in. King White Knight says, hello, I was wondering how many, f oh, really? Really? <laughs> okay, well, uh, sorry ladies and gentlemen, that didn't seem to work very well. I will try again. I will try again and see if we can get this working. All right, waiting. Oh, why do you keep? I keep getting um. I keep getting requests, but then you you cancel the challenges. I don't know why you guys are canceling the challenges here. J-Rad the Mighty says, does shaving... Wow. <laughs> I think we found a flaw in the system, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess this is why it's a beta, right? It's an open beta. <laughs> Portek says the challenge gets gets canceled when someone else challenges. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that. Okay, ninja, fast reflexes. Oh, and choose. All right, you got to choose your character quickly. When that happens, you got to choose your character quickly so that we can actually get into a game. And we're back out again, all right? Yes, no, yes, yes, no, come on, yes. All right, and then click, choose, yes. All right, quick, quick, we can do it, Greg. We got this, one game, no! Oh, oh. My friends, <laughs> I think we may have to just play by myself. I'm afraid that's gonna be the reality of this particular situation. Uh, the game seems to crash whenever I'm getting a bunch of invites while I'm playing in a challenge, so I'm just... I'm just gonna go ahead and play by myself. Sorry. 
Play. There we go. I'm gonna do my shaman. Just for kicks. Uh, what? What, can I not even play by myself? What's going on here? Yeah, the game hates me tonight. Oh, that's what Autumn says. Uh, my dashboard seems to be. Is it anyone else or is it just me? Is it, any is it anyone else or is it just me? Because this is starting to get ridiculous. I'm going to actually exit Battle.net. Maybe it's something to do with Battle.net. In which case, this can be easily fixed by a quick up software update. Alright, JRad the Mighty asks, does shaving help your beard grow faster and or more dense and how? Uh, the answer is no, it does not help your beard grow faster. What happens is when you trim or shave off your beard, you're splitting off the natural tapered tip of a beard fiber so that it's wider and thicker. So your beard, when it grows back, is going to look darker, even though it's not growing any faster and you don't have any thicker beard strands. Um, so my recommendation to people who are trying to grow a full beard is to simply not trim it. Okay, I'm going to try and get into a game, uh, even though I'm getting spammed, and hopefully this will work. So far, we're okay. Even though the timer thing seems to be going very slowly. Here we go. Finally, we're in a game. All right, after this, <laughs> after this, I will try and take more uh, challenges. But for now, I just want to get through the game. Oh, rough stuff. I did not get a good hand. And I really like playing warriors. I just hate playing against them. King White Knight says, Hello, I was wondering how many fedoras you own. Kind sir and gentleman, I do declare. Um, I, I have two fedoras. One is a green fedora. And one is a charcoal gray fedora. I don't wear the charcoal gray one because it's too small for me. But when my brother comes over to co-host the show sometimes, he will wear it. See if I can clear out my friends list some more. Making room. Okay.
see if I can accept any more friend requests. And that's it. No more friend requests. Okay. There we go. Things are better now. Jrad the Mighty says, have you played Diablo? I have. I was a big Diablo 1 and 2 fan back in the day. Then my brother purchased Diablo 3 when it came out. I was on the Diablo 3 beta. And uh, I enjoyed it. But it didn't quite have the same pull for me as uh, the old version did. So I wasn't a, a, hu a super huge fan of it. That said, you know, I'm glad I played it. Okay, he destroyed my taunt. What have I... What options have I... There we go. Doom Doggy says, Ox, I'm going to challenge you to see if you can break this lost streak you have against me. Well, well, good sir, I don't know what you mean by lost streak. Last time I remember, I was doing pretty well. Although now that I think of it, I did lose to you last time we played, didn't I? All right, all right. Well, uh, yeah, after this game, I'll go ahead and back out and then try to accept challenges. We'll see what happens. <laughs> My game crashed like four times before I finally got into a battle. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all your warrior tricks and nonsense. Whenever you summon a minion with three or less attack, give it charge. Well, now this is happening. Because I just don't like that guy. Nagger Knapsack. What? Says. Hey, what type of attire are you wearing tonight? I am wearing a button-down collar, cotton shirt, checkered shirt, with a brown tie, a silver tie clip, black suspenders, my derby, and my prescription glasses. This is actually what I wear every day. Ask my coworkers, except for the derby. The derby is a show thing only, although I do have a fine collection of hats for other experiments. All right. Okay, he killed my main guy. So what can I do? I could do... I could do that. Or I could do this. Mafia? No, I am not. <laughs> Do I look like I'm in the Mafia? Yes, I am part of the Bearded Mafia. <laughs> uh, my number is uh, 1649. Oxhorn number 1649. Arcanite Reaper Ho. Nate the Great AZ says, I must be dumb. I don't know how to check the friends thing. Um, your gamer tag is going to be up here. There we go. I just got a friend request. Yay, it worked. Nope. 
Nice. Alright, so, he's got 21 health, I have 24 health, and he just summoned Gr Gromash Hellscream. Really? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or I could do five, five. Or I could do, f no, that's Wind Fury. Uh, that would give him three. Could I do Wind Fury and that? Yeah, I totally could. Four, five, six, seven. That's exactly what I would have. Okay, so four. go and then I just do that because I feel like being evil <laughs> and a good use of my mana I dare say angry John says hello hello angry John Jesse Pinkman says wow is this serious serious as a silver plated uh, hubcap How's that for serious? What has he got? Another Arcanite Reaper? How many Arcanite Reapers can this fellow have? Well, I'm going to have to do that at least. Might as well do that too. And then just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That way, he will have some serious hurt if he tries to attack that. And he used execute. All right, well, that's one way to go about it. Ouch. <laughs> and he is boned. He can do not a thing. He has but one card, although he does have more life than me. But, I've got more units on the board. Let's see what you can do, my friend. All right, all right, okay. You've got that little enraged guy. I see your tricks. That's your game. You know what my game is? That. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Bam. Whoa! In the arena! Well, that wasn't the arena, but... Not too bad! I had six life, he had 18. I managed to knock him out a few. Okay, feeling pretty good right now. Think I could go through a few more games, but you know what? You guys are here. I want to be respectful of your time. I'm going to back out of this, and I'm going to await the challenges, and hopefully the game won't crash. So challenge away. Let's see what happens. And they all do it at once, I'm sure. Yes! No, and it canceled. Okay, let's try this again. Next up. Yes. And you canceled again. Yes. And choose. Okay, crossing fingers. Please don't crash game. Shaving? That's horrible. I don't want to see something saying shaving. 
Boiling up and turn button. All right, that's good. Yay! I'm actually getting in on a game with a fan. <laughs> well, what do you know? All right, shoot. It is time. It is time for dom domination. Utter domination. The only question is who shall be dominated? Let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and do that to begin with. Just because I can't really do anything else. Granly says gold claps. All right, I like a gold clap. He's clapping with all of his gold. A bar in each hand going bang, bang, bang. That's how much he appreciated my performance. So cheers, mate. Gold clap. Mm. Ludwig says, what cigar are you smoking? I showed off the wrapper earlier. Um trying to find it. Oh, here it is. It's a uh, Bohemian box-pressed cigar. It's pretty good, if, if I do say so myself. Not too bad. All right, cross your fingers. And he's still got one left. Ah. Oh, well. Ken Keeneth says, Oxhorn, you're alive? Why don't you make videos anymore? Well, good sir, I have made about 60 videos in my career. If you want to see all 60, go to oxhorn.com and click on the movies section. You can see all the movies I have ever made. I'm sure there are some there you've never seen before. Uh, that took up many, many years of my life and I enjoyed every moment of it, but it was time for me to try other pursuits. Uh, so I retired from movie making last year. I, I released one final movie when I retired. It's called Into the Tin. Good to see you too, Keeneth. And I hope things are going well for you. Uh, but uh, now I'm focusing on other things. I'm an online publisher. I've got a website about beards. I'm writing novels and books. By the way, this is my novel, The Tale of Cloran Hastings. You should buy it because it's amazing. You'll like it. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Ah, how are you doing so well? <sighs> sure, why not? Shwarma says, good night, everybody. Happy birthday to Ghoul and the rest of those arms, Ox. Be glad you don't have to do the sleep bracers. Yeah, thankfully I don't have at least that. Good to see you again, Shwarma. Be sure, my friend, to stay classy and see you next week. Uh, J-Rad the, the Mighty says, what about that cigar that looked like it had an egg in it? Gulbreth says, the Egg Maduro. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's my That was my Egg Maduro cigar. It's one of my favorite brands of cigars. The fans know that. And, um... Yes! Ha 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 ha! Yes. Hmm. On reflection, I probably shouldn't have uh, <laughs> gotten rid of that guy's thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, I sm I've smoked all of the Egg Maduros that have been gifted to me. Thank you very much. The fans will send me uh, cigars, and I do, do appreciate it. Mr. April says to Oxhorn, sorry about last week. <coughs> Pardon me, and canceling the game. Again, I don't know if it was lag, but my screen, there were three turns ahead of you, and I was lagging out. Felt bad again. Sorry, sir. No worries. No worries, my friend. Those those things happen. But I'm sure we will have an opportunity again in the future. What? How are you doing so well? How are you? I'm sure he's fine. Jody? One moment, need to check on the boy. Is he okay? 
Alright, that wasn't the boy falling. That was, in fact, my wife's Xbox One. That Or not Xbox One. We don't have an Xbox One. That was her Xbox 360. That's right. <clears throat> Which toppled over to the ground, uh, unfortunately. Ouch, man. You've, I've got nothing. There's just nothing I can do. I suppose I could do that, but I'd hate to waste it on that. Well, fine. I'll do that. Okay, good. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Lutwig uh, says, Are cigars the only tobacco you consume? Uh, no, I also consume tobacco pipes. Loose leaf tobacco. Pipe tobacco, which is a distinct type of tobacco. I do not smoke cigarettes or cigarellos or anything like that. I have very poor things to say about cigarettes. Not that I'm hating on any cigarette smokers, but my personal preference is not to enjoy this, the uh, the nectar of the cigarette. Instead, I have a gentlemanly cigar every now and then. I'm gonna keep it to a minimum. Right. Great, Shute is taunting me. He's saying he's gonna show off his legendary. I am not even focusing right. All right, all right. Show off your legendary. What have you got, my friend? Humiliate me in front of the, the adoring thousands. Clockwork Kaiser says, Greetings, Ox. You're looking mighty, mighty dapper tonight. Thank you very much. It's amazing what a tie will do. Oh, no. He's, how many of those do you have? <laughs> He's hexing all of my taunts. Oh, you've got the doom hammer. Oh, okay. That's nice. I like it. No, that's a good card to have. I also have it. I just haven't gotten it yet. Right. You can stop attacking me anytime. This is getting painful. If I make it two turns, come on, my friend. I will make it much more than two turns. Maybe. <laughs> Right, you do still have 30 health. There is that. Right. What can I do? Stop looking at my cards. Not. I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you're not looking at my cards, my friend. You are far too classy to do that. But it looks like the tables have turned. I now have the upper hand, even though I'm four points behind. But things look good. I have a good feeling about this. JRad the Mighty says, What's your favorite brand of alcohol? It's got to be. <clears throat> Lafroig Scotch. Ouch. Oh no. I'm done. I'm done. No. No. Ah, oh, the pain. Victory is yours, good sir. I tip my cap to you. Nicely done. The double bloodlust way, of course. <laughs> I have yet to use the double bloodlust. But congratulations to you, my friend, for achieving it. I was so close, so close. I was totally gonna win that the very next turn. All right, Greg, mano y mano. 
I'm going to tear up your King Crush. Let me guess, he's a hunter. Oh, shocker! Shocker! Hey, stick with what you know, buddy. Stick with what you know. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Angry John says, uh, can we still, can we see your hair? Yes, you're looking at it. This is my hair. Didn't you realize that when you, when you raise your class factor high enough, your hair sprouts into a, a derby? True story. You, shall not pass. you heard him, Greg. You shall not pass. Although it's not quite as fascinating when a non-bearded person says that line, isn't it? That's good. I like your little doggy over there. Woof, woof. Athic... Ath Thilica says, uh, Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels is all right when I'm in the mood for a nice whiskey, but, uh, you know, it's not my favorite, but it's all right. King White Knight says, can you post playlist, please? I can do better. I'm actually listening to a free online streaming radio service called Radio Dismuke. Completely free. It's ad supported, of course, so you listen to ads every now and then. But <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it's called Radio Dismuke. D-I-S-M-U-K-E. A fan turned me on to it, and I love it absolutely. Play it every week. Uh, yeah, sure. Have another totem. You're welcome. <laughs> Shiut is still <clears throat> uh, glorying over that victory. I can't believe I pulled double bloodlust, he says. Yeah, that was a nice move. That was well done. Well done. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do this. Okay. That was great. Now, he's either got uh, something that's going to destroy whatever I put down or I don't even know. So let me get rid of something I don't care about. Secret. Four damage. Oh, bummer. Something I didn't care about died. I feel so bad. So then the next one is going to be... The next time I attack him, it does like two damage to all of my my minions there. Shoot keeps apologizing. My friend, don't apologize. You, sir, won that victory fair and square. Gentleman Badger says, I've got to head to sleep for the night. Everyone have a classy evening, especially you, Ox. Have a pleasant evening. Evening, good sir, and thank you for coming. That's right, my friend. You might you might want to start playing cards. Oh man, one of my totems. Oh. Hmm.
I could do blah. And blah. All right, we're getting up there. You still have a full deck over here. When are you going to start getting rid of some of those, buddy? Uh, Soul Sing says, what happens with your hand? It's just a hand brace uh, to keep my hands from locking up when I type. It's a carpal tunnel thing. <laughs> he's, he, he's waiting for me to trigger this secret is what he's waiting for me to do. He's waiting for me to lay down a bunch of really nice cards so that when I trigger this secret, all, all my stuff dies. <clears throat> It's that two damage to all all minions thing is what it is. Yes, yes, yes. The great music of the 1920s and 1930s deserves to have its music with modern audio. Here we go. Let's see what it is. Why not email your friends right now? Let them know about the wonderful music. Two damage to all enemies. There it goes. Bam. Everybody dies. Well, at least that's out of the way, and I have an entire thing of mana to spend. Let's see. What can I do? Stampy Deck says, Do I detect smack talk? Uh, talk you do. <laughs> it's, uh... It's only because Rick and I know each other pretty well, and he's... Sadly, he doesn't have the ability to talk smack in front of a live audience, but he just killed my guy. And he's gonna kill my guy again! There it goes, dead. Dead as a doornail. Now the game starts. <laughs> That's the secret though. When you play games with me, I, I talk a lot of smack. I, I talk big, but I'm, I think I'm a good loser and a good winner. Not of course that I'm going to lose, no. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Ouch! That's a good one. That's a good one. I didn't even know. Oh, it's a blue card. Yeah, no wonder. Darn you, Greg. Darn you to tarnation in a handbag. That's what I have to say. Doggone it all. All right, you got four cards left. Let's see what you can do. Gladiator's longbow? Your hero is immune while attacking? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. <sighs> I see where this is going. 
and it's not pretty. <laughs> Greg says, much apologies, Ox, but I'm afraid this is simply the way of the game. Yeah, that's just the way the game goes. Hey, no, you know, don't. It's time. It's time I got. No, not King Crush. Doggone it all. Why you gotta always bring King Crush? Is that not like, oh. Every time, man. Every time I play you, you bring out King Crush. That doggone dinosaur. He's supposed to be freaking extinct. Ah. Cool breath, it's your birthday. Let's play some games. <laughs> Congratulations, Greg. Again, I tip my cap to you. Had I been playing my warrior, however, just just saying had I been playing my warrior, it might not have turned out so nicely for you. You're just eating that up. <laughs> he's, he's just eating that up. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is how we shall begin. <laughs> King Crush. I just don't even know. He gets one one legendary card, King Crush, and he just uses it at every opportunity. I need that card, I do. But what can you do, right? Such is life. You know what? This calls <clears throat> for an upgrade. It's always good <clears throat> to have a backup. The story is that when Greg first started playing, I was just tearing him to pieces. But now that he's an expert, I feel uh, like the uh, student has become the master, don't you think? What comes next? Oh, I know. No, no, not that. This. Bam, bam. Thank you, sir. Let's try this. All right, all right, I like that. Okay, all right. I like the way that this game is going so far. Oh, I hate that card, Scavenging Hyena. Why is it that everybody I fight plays Hunters? Two of them. Whenever a friendly beast dies, gain 2-1. Wow, I should have saved my last card, huh? Um, Bollocks. Whoops. Didn't think that one out. Okay, at least I have that going for me. Greg says, now and then, Ox, but your warrior seems rather even when it comes to my hunter. My warrior is level 16. That's what's so infuriating about this. I have a level 35 shaman who gets destroyed whenever I use him against your hunter. But my level 16 warrior tends to defeat him. <laughs> this doesn't, it's not even right. Ouch. How did he get, how's the, ow, man.
Well, at least I got, I got that going for me. Okay, still have 30 life. So there's that. Verti says, good evening, fine sir. How are you on this fine chilly evening? I am doing well. I am being warmed by a handsome glass of the finest Kraken rum. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm having a really hard time gaining any ground with this guy. <laughs> John says, uh, and your 16 warrior is beating my 29 hunter. Well, I'm not necessarily beating you. I, uh, well, I guess I am. Yeah, I am, aren't I? <laughs> All right, what did you... Oh, no, not another secret. Not another secret. I hate your secrets. Well, um... I probably should have done that after I attacked. Yeah. It's gonna be two to yeah, two to all enemies. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Oh well, I only lost one. And I even knew that was coming too. Ugh, last it all. Sir Harkin says, first time viewing this stream. And his cam reminds me of an old 1950s heavyset man. Image. Thanks? Cheers, mate. New stogie. Just, whoa, what is that? What did you just play? Baron Geddon? Instead of Armageddon, Baron Geddon? I get it, I get it. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all other characters. Oh, you. You, 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 with your Eunice. Oh. Blast, blast, and dag nabbit. Oh. I don't even, man. Yes, fine, I'll do that and do that and bring on that. Sure. At least I got rid of it. It's gone. Shall not haunt me. Or my minion. Sir Harkin says, not in a bad way, just the jolly person. Okay, all right, I can dig that. The uh, uh, the plump individuals historically had been depicted as jolly in popular media, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why that has changed. Because I have always felt jolly. <laughs> Poor Goldbrot says, arg no beast cards. That is the one fatal flaw of using the hunter. If you don't have enough beast cards, all your powers are not. Except for the fact that... Uh... Oh my goodness! Yeah, nicely done. Okay. Alright, hopefully we're getting to the end here. Ouch! What? I thought you had no more beast cards. Okay, suddenly things are not looking quite so good for yours truly. What is that? Soul Singh says you must kill him. I know I must. I must. And I shall. Your impending doom is upon you. And he just summoned a nine attack core hound, of course. So I've got... Nothing. I got nothing. Death. 
Brain death! Ah. A nine core hound. Sure to be my demise. Well played indeed, good sir. Yes, yes, yes. Don't dance about. Just deal the death blow. Thank you. Right. Alright, one more. One more, ladies and gentlemen. And then I will end the program. Blue Beta 19 says, I just followed you. You seem like a very cool guy. Why, thank you, good sir, and I hope I live up to the expectations. Nicely done, Ghoul Breath. A well-deserved victory on your birthday. I won't tarnish that victory by saying I give it to you, because I really didn't. I tried to destroy you, as was patently obvious, I'm sure. All right, who do we got today? Portex. No, Eternal. Okay, I'm fighting Eternal, and... Great. Not too bad. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to save that. Eternal says finally. Yeah, I know, it's sometimes hard to get in, but... Once you're in, you tend to defeat me soundly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure... I, well, I, I hope... <clears throat> what has happened uh, to date will not continue. I didn't give you the game, Ghoul Breath. You won that fair and square. Good night, good night. If you're heading out, pleasure to have had you here. Okay, let's see what we got. Hunters! Every game I have fought has been Hunters. What is with the Hunters? Is it the overpowered class or something? I like this setup. I think it's a good setup. Let's see what my enemy has in store. Oh, my taunt! Thank you. Not exactly sure why my guys kept moving around there, but... This guy right here in the middle. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion one health. If I can keep this fellow alive for quite a while, it can add up. It really can. <clears throat> Ouch! Well, so much for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so he's got three cards left, one of which is an Oasis Snapjaw. I'm feeling pretty good about this. <clears throat> and I wouldn't want to waste that, so instead I'll waste that. Which I realize is a fairly epic card to have, so. Yeah, that was my Gorhal. Thank you, sir. Says it was well played. Attacking a minion costs one attack instead of one durability. So this will last me quite some time, and I can take out a number of minions with it. And that is the end. Well played indeed. Finally, I won one. <clears throat> Nicely done. Thank you for stepping up for this epic Hearthstone challenge. I think we had some good victories. I think we really did. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the game. Time for me to end with a smoke ship. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am one of very few mortals endowed with the ability to blow into existence a ship designed by you with nothing more than the powers that are within this noggin. So, what is on your mind? <clears throat> and I will do my very best to make sure that I can create it. <laughs> Eternal says, good game, Oxhorn, was fun. Was indeed fun. Had a blast. Thank you very much. Yeah, Shoot says that his cards keep moving. I don't know why my cards were moving. I'm not exactly sure. William Moore says, <clears throat> Oxhorn driving a Scotch-fueled 18-wheeler with a trailer full of bacon, steak, and pork chops across the Barrens Desert. Meanwhile, Staghorn and Mortus fly goblin helicopters guarding Ox in his truck from the evil vegan panda bandits who are bent on destroying the truck, therefore cutting off the meat supply for we eat flesh and running them out of business. That's that's that, that's an, an evil hippie scheme if I ever heard one. <clears throat> Mr. Eight Ball says, Ox, Associate Professor Evil, hippie and ghoul on a star-shaped Led Zeppelin ride. Over Stormwind, saving stranded bacon elves from the Loch Ness Orc, Ninja of WoW, Baldox, and all the shoots team with Cyberware Daleks and the magician Gavin to free all captured Tarns, proving even enemies can be friends. Wow. That's elabor elaborate. It had a lot of philosophy in there. Greg McLovin Hartung says, Sky Admiral Oxhorn. Captaining an Egg Maduro Zeppelin, soaring above Pandaria with Staghorn and Mortus, firing meaty mortars upon the titanium airship of Greg and Gulbreth as they retaliate by firing. Even in the smoke ship, I am taunted. Nick Diamond says, a black hole smoke ring. I'm a physic ma phys physics major and have been trying it for years. Now that would be quite a masterpiece if I could conjure up a black hole. <laughs> all right, well, you all have had amazing uh, smoke ships today. I think I'm going to go with Mr. 8-Ball. Uh, because I, I chuckled a lot while I was reading yours. But nicely done, everybody. So here we go. Mr. 8-Ball's smoke ship. Pay close attention. If you blink, you will miss it. So here we go. Whoa! Did you see it? It was there for only a few moments, 
But very distinctly, we had Oxhorn, Associate Professor Evil, Hippie, and uh, Ghoul on a star-shaped Led Zeppelin ride over Stormwind saving stranded bacon elves from the Loch Ness Orc. Ninja of Wild Baldox and all the Shoots team with Cyber Wear Daleks and the Magician Gavin to free all captured Tarans, proving even enemies can be friends. A lot of love and a lot of philosophy in that. Thank you very much, Mr. 8-Ball. Excellent smoke ship. Excellent smoke ship to everybody. Greg and William uh, for participating. And thanks everyone else for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. It is 8.30. Uh, the show has gone on uh, for 30 minutes longer than intended, but we had a fantastic time. So thanks everybody for coming. And as always, we say here on Scotch and Smoke Rings, be sure, my friends, that you stay classy. A few more smoke rings before we end. <laughs>